Hello there and welcome to today's ride. Just a quick little jaunt today, 25 kilometer route through Horndean there, up to Clanfield, Charlton, Finch Dean, Rowlands Castle, then home. Just about to hit the first of today's climb, about 1500 meters at about 3%. Too bad. That's funny. Just bumped into my chum Tell. He's probably on an 800 kilometer loop knowing him. And that, boys and girls, is more or less all of today's climbing done. And we're less than five kilometers into the ride. The last time I did that climb was back in November and it was on my trek so it was a lot easier but I don't know if that was because I was fitter then or the bike was lighter and faster or perhaps a combination of the two. Just left the village of Charlton and starting the longish descent of about three kilometers into the village of Finch Dean. Where I'm riding now is actually in the heart of the South Downs. To the right of me is Butzer Hill and behind me a little ways is Queen Elizabeth Country Park and that's a massive area for off-roading and mountain biking and in fact all of these roads are just made for mountain bikes and if you look at the state of how muddy my bike is you think I'm riding a mountain bike As you can see, the weather today isn't too bad. It's a balmy 11 degrees Celsius, and that's most welcome compared to the 
minus two, minus three degrees Celsius that we've been having recently. Unfortunately though, the roads are incredibly wet and it's forecasting blustery showers today, which is why I'm trying to get out and beat them. Today I'm trying to take a leaf out of Katie Cookerborough's book. She's recently posted a vlog about how to enjoy your winter rides and one of the tips she gives is to find a flat route. Now living where I do that's not quite so easy but this is the flattest I could find. Well, there we go just on about 18 and a half kilometers in and I have to admit I'm finding today's ride a little bit tricky I just cannot get my breath and that might have something to do with um, the way I've been feeling over the last couple of days which is kind of as if I'm coming down with a cold or a slight flu so I've been sneezing quite a lot and just just not feeling quite myself. Thankfully I don't think it's the obvious because I don't have a temperature and I haven't been coughing and I still have uh, have my sense of taste thankfully. While I'm here, I'd just like to do a quick thank you to my friends over at PGY Tech for sending me over a GoPro bike mount. Now, if you're watching the vlogs a couple of weeks ago, you'll know that I broke one recently and had to use the handheld camera that I'm using now. But PGY Tech have sent me this uh, very different GoPro mount for the bike and it's absolutely fantastic. Now I will be doing a separate vlog about how I film my rides and I will include uh, a bit about this PGY tech mount on there so stay tuned for that. So there we go, that's today's ride, 25 kilometers and 206 meters in the bank of fitness. Although I don't feel particularly fit at the moment because like I say, feeling a bit short of breath, but that could have something to do with the fairly hard turbo training sessions that I've been doing recently. Thankfully managed to avoid the rain, but not the mud. The bike's 
rather dirty uh, so I'm just gonna have to wash it and clean it off today and the frustrating thing is that as soon as I go out again it will just get as muddy oh well time for a cup of tea and a stroop waffle I think thanks for watching